never seen a process be so revealing. And having been a social worker for 40 years and done so many other trainings, I believe that this has been one of the most profound experiences. I have found in this Q process a person that was uh, largely lost in my life and it's caused me to laugh and to cry and to unabashedly love the whole universe is yours. I think I just kind of went into it with uh, just with the, the claims that I'd heard about and I went to the website and I looked at you know what what was behind it the, the science and quantum physics and um, neuroscience and truth principles and, and all those things and I, I knew all had sort of connections to um, breakthrough and to higher consciousness. No, we're not making it up. It's actually real. It's not therapy. It's not touchy peely. It's not. It's it's like real science. Whereas before, the conversation you know was about what the problem was, which is you know so the external problem. That still goes on, but then there's also um, it doesn't end there. there there's a, there's for most of us who, who really have taken this on and taken it with sincerity and see it as really being uh, profoundly effective. Um, then there's another conversation that has to do with uh, this is uh, this is something that I need to look at and see what of me is uh, causing this to be a problem. What this process has taught me to do is yes, look at the past, but just stay really present and know that the future can be different and will be different if I just stay present. The biggest thing that I've got out of this was the uh, uh, the ability to to realize where my triggers were and uh, to address those right out of the gate so that um, going forward I don't have those same kind of triggers and uh, it was really awesome having my uh, my son participate in this exercise with me. I have an aspect I have now, a tool and a understanding about myself and other people. So I, I truly am very grateful for this. I was surprised um, that I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised that um, every night, it, and it was by the end of the week, it was our routine. Oh, it's 9.30. Okay, stop what we're doing because we're doing the Q process. And so that was nice. Yeah, was I awesome. often wonder how any of us have lived this long uh, with all these triggers that we've, and the error beliefs that we adopt along the way in these small ways. So just very, very grateful. I had had this experience and started this work before I ever became a parent because I think I could have been a better job of parenting if I had dealt with my own issues first. Remember when Patrick calls me out, I call Patrick out. It's, uh, <laughs> that's, it's, a good, it's a good process. I do feel so much lighter and uh, resentment has disappeared. And I just, um, I don't know, I find it very, very helpful in relationship to just let it, to have let it go and remain present. Why am I telling myself that I'm not good enough? Like, why am I telling myself that I that I, that I, that I'm not loved? Do the cue. Just do it. Just do it. The benefit was uh, beyond anything that I could have imagined could have happened that quickly. It's been very, very effective, and um, it just really bodes well for our future. It really empowers us to stay the course of something bigger and grander for us, uh, and not have it fall apart because we can't we can't play together. Love do the cue. Just do it. Love do the cue. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it.